Hello, this video will show you everything you need to know about using VMware Cloud Director availability for delivering DR and migration services to Cloud Director service with the Google Cloud VMware Engine SDDC. First, let's start with the network configuration of the Google Cloud VMware Engine. You need to create a new network segment or reuse one of the existing where to connect the VMware Cloud Director availability appliances. Creating a new one should be done in the NSX UI and the segment settings should be set according to the desired network architecture. You can check the available reference architecture for more information about the connectivity and ports used by the VMware Cloud Director availability appliances. Then a new public IP should be requested from the Google Cloud VMware Engine console. It needs to be forwarded to the internal IP address of the tunnel. Optionally, you can request another public IP in case you plan to make the VMware Cloud Director availability portal accessible over the internet too. The last thing to configure is a firewall table rule that will allow the incoming traffic to the public IP. You can specify the port as well. If you have configured a public IP for the main joint portal, you will need to add another rule for it to the firewall table. You need to download and deploy the three VMware Cloud Director availability appliances through the vCenter UI. It is the same binaries that are used for VMware Cloud Director Private Cloud. After going through all the steps and the deployment is finished, you need to run the initial setup wizard. The only caveat here is selecting the data engine. It depends on the user that will be used for connecting to the lookup service. In Google Cloud VMware Engine, there are five pre-built solution users. They have full administrative privileges and are intended for use by Cloud Director, Site Recovery Manager and other tools. When utilized, the solution user allows to take advantage of the full capabilities of the classic data engine of VMware Cloud Director availability. This means it will provide migration, protection and reverse failover similar to when the destination is a Cloud Director private cloud. If it is impossible to operate with one of the solution users, the cloud owner or similar user can be used instead. However, this means only the VMC data engine can be utilized, which will lead to limiting the functionality. The tenants will be able to perform only migrations. After choosing the right data engine based on the permissions available, you need to provide the Cloud Director service URL and the system administrator user to connect to it and register the VMware Cloud Director availability plugin. After completing the remaining steps, your instance is ready to receive its first replication. For more details about the deployment and the initial setup of VMware Cloud Director availability, please refer to the videos dedicated to setting up an environment that we have already published on our channel. With the classic data engine, we consider Cloud Director service with the Google Cloud VMware Engine SDDC similar to an ordinary Cloud Director private cloud in terms of functionality. This means the sources for migration or protection can be on-premises vSphere, Cloud Director or Cloud Director service. Reversing a replication is also possible. When using the VMC Data Engine, the available sources are the same, on-premises vSphere, Cloud Director or Cloud Director Service. However, only migrations from these sources to the Cloud Director Service destination are possible without the option of reversing them. Similar to a Cloud Director Cloud, you can collect the tenant's usage data with a usage meter agent. There are two options for that, to deploy a new agent in the Google Cloud VMware Engine SDDC that might add some extra cost because of the additional VM running, or use an existing agent that is already deployed remotely. If you prefer attaching an existing one, there is no need for extra network configurations or firewall rules as the tunnel endpoint can be used for the connection. Please check out our blog for more materials and links to white papers and reference architecture. Thanks for watching.